And he's gonna pick the one that I picked last time. Guess what? It's a wait. Get crushed. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, just sit us to here. Welcome to my Mario Party 5 minigame playthrough. We're going to be going through the I don't know why I'm looking at the microphone. I should be looking over there. <laughs> We're gonna be going through the minigame mode. We're gonna go through all the minigames that I can do with the camera. And we'll see how it goes. I recently watched my commentary video on Mario Party 4's extra room, the warm basement brouhaha that I did. Link in the description if you want to see that. I did those with commentary and face cam. And I think it might be interesting to do it again for Mario Party 5. This time doing this for all the minigames, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, we're going to be going through all the minigames. I had to find the safe file that I had everything unlocked because apparently the first two profiles that I looked into didn't have crap, so yeah, we're in here now. So, I'm gonna be Boo Boo, and we're gonna have Daisy, and we're gonna have Luigi, number one, because, well, Luigi's Manson, and we're gonna have uh, another newcomer to the franchise, or the series rather, Krippikin, so yeah. Alright, we're gonna go into free play, we're gonna do all the minigames, and then if we want to, let me know in the comments below if you wanna, if you want me to go through the rest of the modes in the minigame mode, and we'll do that as well. So, let's see, first up is 4 player, 1 vs 3, 2 vs 2, battle, duel, bowser, DK, and story. I guess we'll do the story last. Doesn't really make sense to do that early on, but whatever. Okay, how about first we'll do go random. So I'll just keep pressing until we land on something. Alright, one versus three. It, it is one versus three, right? No, that's dual, okay. I, I, sort of, I was paying attention to the window over there playing the game, but no, it's actually dual. Okay, we'll do the dual game first, why not? Yeah. Okay, huh? We can pick whoever we want. How about we just go random? So, the first minigame up is... Sky Survivor. Okay. Let's go. Sky Survivor. Avoid the obstacles flying at you while riding on unique flying machines. Move. The controls are set up like an airplane. So up is down and down is up. Don't forget. Well, I'm gonna forget. But I cannot because I've got a good memory and I actually... Yep. We don't really like a lot of inverted controls, but... In this case, I guess it kind of makes sense, but... Whoa. I'm gonna try and not get hit at all in this minigame. That would be wonderful. Daisy, if you can get out of my way, that would be very nice. Uh, uh. No hitting any of these little spiky balls. Apparently, Lackluster from Paper Mario upgraded his move set and got a ton of these out in the open. Whoa! Ow! Oh. You just had to put one right there. Neither, none of you guys could move that spiky ball out of my way. Come on. Oh, what? Well, Sky Survivor is down. Let's go with... Headwaiter. Okay. Luigi, you're up, man. Okay. Headwaiter is interesting. It's kind of luck-based, kind of not, but you can probably make this minigame go in your favor. Ah. Pass the mini Bowser bomb back and forth until it explodes. Try not to be the one holding it when it goes off. Decrease the counter by 1 and 2 by A and B respectively. The computer, or the counter, eventually disappears and this is where the strategy begins. So it's kind of a guessing game when the numbers disappear, so. We start with 9, so let's go 1. Luigi will go two. I will go two. Luigi will go two. 
and I will go one, and Luigi will go Kabumi. It's, com it's a complete guessing game. We don't know what's gonna happen, but it just turned out that I was actually right. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Luigi kind of got the sword end of the stick on that one. All right, Pound Peril. Let's do that one. Cripper get you up. All right, this one can be a little difficult depending on the difficulty of the computer player, but we'll see how it goes. And it's a, it is a little bit luck-based because we need to find the one button that is right. So, find the one switch of the 12 that will not inflict any harm. The other 11 are hidden surprises of pain and misery. So we can move, jump, punch, and ground pound. Stand up. The switches reset after they're pressed, making it harder to remember which one it had or haven't been pressed. So, yeah. Unfortunately, what, what happened? Alright. Get back here. I did not hit B, you stupid. Alright. So, yes. Yeah. It is random every time we play the minigame, so you just gotta be lucky. Okay, I'm gonna choose that one. Start. I'm right. Damn it. Ah, uh, so much for one guesses. I got it on the second guess. Finish. Cool. Ten seconds too. Yeah. I have gotten it on one try before, but I don't think I have that on camera, so. It was probably a while ago, so... Okay, next up we have... I don't really like pump and jump, though. But we'll give it a shot here. Why not? The thing is, with button mashing minigames, and with them on hard difficulty, unless you're playing Mario Party Superstars, this is actually difficult. So, move the controller with the hands, and... And you can the thumbs to hit the A button. It's a little hard to describe and show it, but there are videos on YouTube that show that technique, so there we go. Stop. I'm not doing that, right? I'm trying to do this, but it's not actually working right, so. I don't know what to do on this one. I might have to go with the fail. I'll try it again. Boo is not doing anything. I can't do this. It's hard to do it and the A button is a little... It's not really sticky, but it doesn't work as well. It doesn't work as well, so... I'm just gonna have to go the old normal way. And this is not fast at all, so... Well, either way, I'm just gonna show the game. I'm not really going to try and beat it. Especially because I'm not fast at this. So... Maybe in the past, a long time ago, I had more endurance of doing this, but... And this is not even a good method of doing it either, so... I might have to come back to that once I've figured out a way to actually beat it. And when I do, if I do, then I'll showcase that. But for now, we just showed the minigame, and we'll move on from there. So, unfortunately, I'm not gonna have every single, uh, victory. So, oh well. Alright, Mary Poppins. Pop all of your opponent's balloons with a blowgun before he or she pop, pops all of yours. I forgot to read the other shit. Oh my god. Stop. 
Oh, okay. I didn't remember at first, but it's A and B simultaneously, not one or the other, so... Okay. What? I didn't want that. Go back, go back. Oh my god. Alright, I guess we're gonna see who is the winner. Creeper Kid wins with one red balloon left. Oh my god. Well, Luigi died. Rest in peace. Okay. Okay, now let's actually do it for real. Okay. There we go. Got it. I hit left, which evidently put Luigi versus Koopa Kid, but... Oh my god! I keep hitting the wrong button. My... Get back. I hit Z instead of R, which would go through the rules here. There we go. A and B simultaneously shoot blowgun. Right. The secret is pressing the button 30 times before your opponent does. And this one is easier to do than pump pumping away or whatever. Stop. Finish. It's easier to do that than pumping away. Pump pumping away, pump. What is that minigame called? What, whatever that other one was. So. Pump and jump, that's right. Okay. This one. Now this one is actually, I'm not going to, I don't know. We'll do three minutes. We'll do three minutes. Now this one is really difficult and I, hardly win because they can do it pretty quickly but with me I'm not an established Tetris player and all it is is just matching colors right completely fill in the space by taking pieces from the conveyor belt and placing them onto the field move closer pick up and drop piece with A rotate with L and R once the field is filled the pieces disappear you get points and you'll have another chance to complete the field Get more points by using more of the same colored blocks. So, there you go. I wonder how many points we'll get if we build up everything with one color, but... I don't know. I guess when it comes to it, I'll try it, but... For now, we're just gonna go normal. Hey! That was mine, you bitch. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. I will take this as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yep, yep. There we go. Alright. There we go. I'm not doing this quite well. Oh my god. I am screwing up here. Will you? Yep. Oh. Get in there. My god. Oh, no, no, no. Get in there. Ah! We got two more minutes, but still, this is ridiculous. Will you... Will you get in there, you stinking crap? Will you get in there? Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to fill up with just one color. This time, I don't care if I'm going to lose. I'm I'm going to see what would happen when I get one color. Hey, stop stealing my crap. Come on, blue. I said, come on, blue. Will you? Get in there. Come on. One more. Come on, one more, two blues. No, 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 come on, come on. 
I need a two in blue. Let's go. Oh, I'm about to. Ah! Yes. Let's see how much we get. Not much. Will you get in there, you sack of... Are you... I probably could have won that, but I wanted to find out how many points I would get by do using one color, but that takes a lot of time to do apparently. So, there you go. That's the minigame right there. So, let's go to Wind Wavers. Why not? How about Daisy this time? I realized we just went, went in the reverse order. Cooper Kid, Luigi, Daisy. Oh my god. Okay, Wind Wavers, escape from Twister by jumping on the clouds and using a fan to get away. Alright. Eleanor alternate, alternating weight fan, okay. Twister's sucking power gets increasingly stronger as time runs out. Press the buttons as fast as possible to get away. Okay. Alright. Recording is all good, so haha. Ha ha, take that to you. Well, that was surprisingly easy. I can do that faster than I can press the A button. I don't know. It's just the, how it works, I guess. I don't know. Okay, Bound of Music. How about you? A musical minigame. Who would have thought? Jump around the cloud and try to find as many invisible blocks with a musical note on them as you can. Move and jump. Regular blocks won't help you win. Keep jumping and looking for blocks with musical notes on them. No crap. Okay. Let's do this. I didn't even see where they were. Oh, I got one. I got two, three, four, five. Oh, one miss, oh, one left, wow. That was interesting. But I did get more than him, so, ha <laughs> ha. Cool, that's pretty good. All right, how many did we do? We did one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and then there's more after that, so. Alright, let's go to Countdown Pound. Let's do it, shall we? Alright. Countdown Pound. Now, I did get zero at one point. I don't know if I got it twice. I know I got it once, but sadly it wasn't on video. Believe it or not, I did get a zero before, so. I'm gonna try and do it this time. Do a ground pound to stop the timer as close to zero as you can. Whoever stops the timer closest wins. A and ground pound with AA. It takes a moment or two to do a ground pound, so time your jump accordingly. If you go under zero, it won't work. You will blow up. Okay, 10 seconds. I don't know the exact time to jump, but... Oh my god! I tried to do a small jump, but it still didn't work. I guess you're supposed to do it not... Like, under a minute. The closer you get to zero, the harder it is to time it. I know I'm having a hard time trying to explain some things, but... Hopefully you get what I mean. So, when it goes under a minute, I ground pound. Finish. 
Oh wow. You lucky son of a I did too small of a jump right there, so you know. Alright, let's try again. I know I can get zero, it's just a matter of what time exactly in order to do a ground pound. So what I'm gonna do is try and do a normal ground pound when it reaches 50 milliseconds. Well, that's not right, but I did win this time, so. Haha! <laughs> oh, you're gone. Hoo -hoo. There you go. If I can get zero on video, then I'll showcase it to you guys, but. If I keep trying it today, then we're gonna be here for a while, so let's move on. How about Shock Absorbers? Luigi, oh buddy, oh pal. Avoid the ants, and don't let yourself get shocked by the electricity flowing between them. Whoever lasts the longest wins. Of course. Just move around, okie dokie. The ants fly around and ricochet off of each other and the walls, so stay alert. The ants flash when they are about to shoot a bolt of energy. Keep moving around and look for, look out for the bolts of energy. Okie dokie. I don't think there's ever I'd buy three, but if there is, I don't know where it is. Okay, Luigi, you're going down. I don't know why Boo can't just float up above the field, but in that case, I guess it would be cheating. No one is going to zap me today. Whoa. Come on, Luigi, get zapped already. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! No, no, don't hit me! Oh, come on! Boo! Alright, let's try again. Stop! <laughs> now we're gonna do a rematch against Luigi, why not? I could go back and try the... Uh, what am I call it? The peace out minigame again, but we don't need to see another three minute minigame, so there you go. Alright, this time you're going down. You're gonna get zapped and you're gonna like it. Okay. I really lose at this minigame, but It all comes down to if this guy would actually get hit when it matters the most. Don't get- oh no no! <laughs> no 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 no! 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 Get away from me! <laughs> One more second passed and I won. So I remember the previous one was 37, we got 36 that time, so I lasted a whole second more. <laughs> Whew. That was pretty close. Alright, Want Maze. Let's do this one against... Ah, Daisy, why not? And then the next one will be Creepy Kid. Alright, find your way to the goal, but don't forget about the warmth hiding beneath the floor. Oh my god. Move. If you get close to a womp, he will, it will spring up. Avoid the hiding place. I mean, what? Avoid the hiding place so you can make a clean run to the goal. Easier said than done. No doubt you will likely hit them on the way there. So you could just follow the computer player. Stop. Ow! We'll do that. That works too. I kind of had a lucky path there. Daisy kind of got herself stuck in an area, so I was able to maneuver my way through, so 
those want paths will randomize each time you play the game, so I'll be mindful of that. Okay, how about we do get a rope? Oh, a luck based minigame. Here we go. Select one of the three ropes to pull, the results are completely random. Who would have thought? Select the rope and confirm the player with the best result wins. So, there's three outcomes. One is the pun block or whatever that, it's a weight. So, a 10 ton weight or whatever it is that will crush you. Or you can get two of the possible confetti endings. I'm going to go with the right. Why not? And you can get a slow, steady stream of confetti or a pile of confetti. The pile of confetti was number one, the steady stream number two, and then the crust number three. Finish. And I won with the most confetti. He didn't get crushed by a, a weight though, so. Are you guys satisfied with that? Let's go again, why not? How about Luigi? I'm gonna play three times. One against each player, and we'll see who comes out at number one. All right, Luigi. Are you gonna be lucky this time? We shall see. Okay. It is completely random, so the right one could be the winner again, but I'm gonna go with the middle. And he's gonna pick the one that I picked last time. Guess what? It's a wait. Get crushed. <laughs> oh, I called it, even though it was completely random. I called it. Get wrecked. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, thank you. Are you gonna get lucky this time? Or are you gonna get crushed? Or are you gonna come out on top for once? Although I would still win because I won twice, so. This time, I'm gonna pick left. You are going to pick get wrecked. No, you're gonna have Okay. Are you gonna win? Yep. Finish! <laughs> yeah. Alright, good job, Daisy. I came out on top with two wins. Daisy got one win, and then the other is just... Yeah. I guess Cooper Kid would come out, come out at third, because he got the second place spot with the steady little stream, and Luigi got crushed, so he will be last, fourth place. So, okay, there we go. All right, button masters. All right, who are we going to be? Ah, I guess Cooper Kid, why not? Okay, don't let the blocks crush you. Repeatedly press each button thrown on each block to keep from being crushed. Repeatedly and simultaneously press every button thrown on each block. It can get difficult. Don't stop pressing the buttons, especially as the stack gets taller and taller and taller and taller and taller and taller and taller. And taller. Oh my god. But they don't last as long, so we just have to last as long, so. Here we go. There we go. I had the thumb on Y and A, finger on R, and left thumb on B, so. There you go. Alright, let's see. What else do we got? I think this is the last one. Blown away. Because we did those, we did... Oh, we haven't done Sky Guys Showdown yet, so. We'll do that last. So, yeah, there we go. Blown away, okay. Daisy, come on to the party. And for Sci Guys Showdown, we'll do the same thing there as we did in, uh, what's it called, Get a Rope. So, knock your opponent off with the, off of the cloud with an air blast bazooka. Bazinga. Fire bazooka, 
and the air blast from the bazooka is difficult to see, but try to follow its trajectory and get out of the way. Press and hold A to charge up the bazooka and then release it to fire a more powerful shot. And there we go. Alright. Alright, Daisy, are you gonna win or am I going to get my revenge at, from Get A Rope? Hey, I'll take that, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Boo wins, gets his revenge in 6 seconds. That's awesome. Okay, final minigame of this video, and I have no idea how long it's been. 37 minutes? Going on 38, okay. Well, I'll try and trim this down a bit, so there we go. Alright, we're gonna do a match against all three, but let's go against Lu Luigi first, and then we'll go to Cooper Kid and then Daisy. Alright, press the button on the sign that the shy guy holds up. Whoever presses the correct button first wins. Press whichever button appears on the shy guy's sign. Okay, the shy guy might hold up a fake sign. Don't let him fool you. If it's a fake, it'll, it won't have any letter on it, so... Be careful. All right. Can I win three in a row? Oh. The exclamation mark is the fake sign. I thought it would be blank, but no. And despite it, believe it or not, this is actually easier, much easier, than Quick Draw Corks in Mario Party 2. Because that, if you play on hard difficulty, it's harder than this, but super hard difficulty? Woo! You gotta be right on with that one. I have done it in my Mario Party 2 Duel video, so... I'll leave a link down there in the description if you want to see that video with the Duel games. Because all of those were, were played on super hard difficulty. And we'll go with Creeper Kid next for the last two matches. If he wins, I think we're gonna go best two out of three for this one. But we'll see what happens. I pressed the wrong button. I hit B instead of R. So that's an automatic loss for me. Alright, so Koopa Kid got one. I got one as well. We'll have a match right after this one with Daisy. Unless Daisy wins, then I would have lost twice. And then we'll see a match between Daisy and Koopa Kid and whoever comes out on top will win. So. Alright, hopefully I can get this one. Okay, Koopa Kid, I mean, Sad Guy. Don't fool me again, alright? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> there's a letter M apparently. There's no M on the... Well, there's an M there. <laughs> the controller is kind of like an M. Maybe you press all the buttons at once? No? Okay. Okay, so Luigi lost, Daisy lost. I got a win, and Cooper Kid got a win as well, so, come on. Who is gonna win? Oh. I went for B, but I barely even hit it at all. It's like my thumb just slid off. So I went to hit B, but it just slid across and nothing happened. So, yeah, I got screwed out of that. But, Creepy Kid did win that, so good job. You suck. Alright. 
Okay, so that's it for the dual mini games. Hope you guys can enjoy this one. If you like this, leave a like on the video. Comment down below which is your favorite dual game out of Mario Party 5. What is the worst dual game out of Mario Party 5. And if uh, you guys want to continue to see me do this, like with face cam and commentary over the gameplay, then let me know in the comments below or just like the video. And if you want to see me just do the commentary but without the face cam or just the gameplay itself, then leave me a comment down below. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time for more. Later.